I warned you it would return. Six months after they dropped three educational games on the same day, Tokyo Shoseki is back with the remaining elementary school math lessons. And in those six months, they've become more ambitious with their game design. The first three Keisan games were very simple. Keisan game Sansu Yonnen, or calculation game 4th grade math, is a weirdly complicated game. Although there's four menu options, there's actually only two mini-games this time. And in a shocking twist, one of them is actually halfway decent. We're gonna start with the other one, though. This horror-themed mini-game is actually the one that takes up three spots in the main menu. As before, you select the type of calculations you want to do, the difficulty, and then finally if you're playing one or two player. The horror game features some long division, decimal arithmetic, and multiplication and division with decimals. It's actually kind of confusing to play, too. You start out on this side view screen. You can't jump, but if you press the B button, you stab. This big yellow monster appears and just walks to the edge of the screen and vanishes. He can't be hurt by the knife. He's also the only thing that appears on this screen, so why they let you stab on it, I don't know. You have to stand on the left-hand side of the door, face it, press the A button, and then walk to the right in order to enter a room. The rooms are in an overhead view, and the monsters in here you can destroy with the knife. You can take three hits from these monsters, but there's no indication of how many hits you've taken. The chests all contain pieces of the solution, and when you approach them, they reveal what their contents are. But if you approach them from below, you can't see it, so you have to approach from the side or the top. If you think what's in the chest is what you need next, you press the A button. You won't just find numbers in the chest, sometimes you'll find the decimal point, too. If a room has multiple exits, you can emerge from any door. So you explore the room, locate the pieces of the solution you need, assemble them in order, and then a ladder appears at the top of the stage to let you out. There's actually a stage progression in this one. It doesn't just repeat. So the monsters become more numerous, and the rooms become more complex as you go on. The thing is, this game's not refined enough to really be playable. The controls are kind of stiff, and the hit detection for the monsters is your entire body, not just the spot where you're standing. One of the more annoying things is that if you turn right when you exit a room, you go back inside it. You have to move far enough left for the door to close, then you can go right. It's also a little bit too slow for how many rooms you have to search in order to get the pieces of the solution. The other game, on the other hand, it makes complex fraction arithmetic fun. Kind of. This is a proper maze chase game. You have to drive over these panels to reveal what they are, and hopefully locate the numbers that you need to fill in the solution. The other cars are chasing you down, and they'll get stunned for a second when they run over a revealed panel. They can also cover it back up. If you find the number you need, press the A button while you're driving over it, and then you get a Pac-Man-like energizer where you can chase down the cars. There's even an escalation where every car you take out is worth more points. If you can complete the problem, then you need to locate this panel which will let you drive away. But that's not the end of this one. On later stages, there's power-ups, like this oil slick that you can drop to stun cars. There's also this bonus stage every three levels, where you have to get the numbers in order. Collecting the bird acts as the energizer for this one. It's a simple game with simple math, but it's still kind of fun. Well, at least until this level where you have to drive down this long corridor, and... The only way I got out was by having the number I needed appear on a panel before it. This one was kind of a surprise for me. This is a much more ambitious game than the previous Kason games. It's actually making me wonder what the last game has in store for me.